Hello, I'm Lake Speed Jr. and welcome to Viscosity Index 101. You may be wondering what wind turbines have to do with high performance engines. Well, wind turbines often have gearbox problems related to oil viscosity. You see, the oil that is thin enough to flow well in the winter is too thin in the heat of the summer. Think about your favorite maple syrup. When you pour it on your hotcakes, what does it do? It thins out. In oil terms, we call that viscosity index. All oils get thinner as they get hotter, but not all oils thin out at the same rate. A conventional mineral oil with a viscosity index of 100 thins out much faster than a synthetic oil with a viscosity index of 155. In fact, at high temperature, the synthetic has more film thickness than even a higher viscosity grade mineral oil. But what does this mean inside your engine? Let's take a look. Inside your engine are moving metal surfaces but no smooth piece of metal is actually smooth. There are tiny peaks and valleys. The oil film from the viscosity of the oil keeps these peaks apart. In our example here, a 30 grade oil with a low viscosity index of 100 can support the speed and load of a 600 horsepower engine at 6,000 RPM at normal temperatures. But if you raise the temperature, the low viscosity index allows the film to thin and the surface to begin to touch not good. Now you have two choices. Increase viscosity grade to say a 40 or 50 grade oil or increase your viscosity index. A higher viscosity index grade will operate more efficiently than a low viscosity index 40 or 50 grade oil. Now think about the two car draft at Daytona and Talladega. The car leading the draft gets plenty of air to the radiator and oil cooler, but the car pushing is getting nearly none. With temperatures skyrocketing, to nearly 300 degrees, the cars swap positions every few laps to keep from overheating. When the car that was pushing takes the lead, the temperatures can fall as low as 200 degrees. Those extreme temperature swings call for more viscosity index. Just in time for the 2012 season, a brand new type of synthetic base oil is available and it offers a much higher viscosity index. Conventional mineral oils have a viscosity index approaching 120. Traditional PAO synthetic oils have a viscosity index reaching about 170. While that's good, the new next generation PAOs offer a viscosity index of 200. These revolutionary new base oils allow for much higher viscosity index motor oils. Higher viscosity index means better protection and greater efficiency. Joe Gibbs Driven is the first company to offer street performance and specialty racing oils formulated from these new advanced high viscosity index oils. Again, proving that Joe Gibbs Driven is serious oil for serious engines.